Hello friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host, Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Uh, today I want to talk about genetics. Genetics are very important. I've talked a little bit about genetics before, um, but as I go through uh, life, my thoughts and uh, views and opinions and experiences change and evolve. So sometimes I will kind of re-go over, uh, re-go over a subject. <laughs> Uh, just because you know, I think there's more to it, or there's something deeper, or there's something else that I want to say. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about genetics. So uh, when I was getting started on this uh, journey, if you want to call it, <laughs> this horrible journey of uh, anxiety and things like that, and depersonalization, all that, um, my when I went to my doctor, my doctor said, "Well, uh, it sounds like you have a lot of anxiety." doesn't surprise me and uh, I was like what do I just have that look about me <laughs> is this is like my personality like what and he's like no I, he goes I'm, I'm actually your doctor for your aunts your father your grandparents and some of my cousins we all go you know mostly the same guy uh, so he's like it doesn't surprise me because uh, knowing your family and your family history uh, you guys are kind of wound tight, is the way he put it. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> and so he ended up, uh, that's what initially put had him put me on Zoloft, uh, because the majority of my family is on Zoloft. Um, so, you know, usually the body chemistries are close enough. Let's try the Zoloft. Um, and so it worked the first time, but it didn't work the second time. When I came back to Zoloft later on, and so, you know, as you guys know, I, I landed here on uh, uh, Lexapro. So, that being said, I just haven't even taken that Lexapro today. Did you see that? Um, so, that being said, uh, as a parent now, it's apparent that I'm a parent now. And as a parent, uh, I really don't want my son to have to go through this stuff. It seems pretty horrible. It seems pretty, uh, pretty crappy, to say the least. So... Uh, one of the best things that you can do is note that that this is a genetic thing that it can be not always but it can be a genetic thing so uh, if you think about it a lot of times when I reference the genetics people will uh, go huh oh yeah I guess my mom's kind of hardwired a little, a little wound tight and I guess my dad is kind of you know has ADD or whatever you know what I mean they'll, they'll make those connections in their head and so it's like you might be doing right now um, so that being said, you need to take some positive actions, which I know you are, uh, So, which is great. This is why you're here. It's why you're watching these channels. Uh, but also, when you're taking the medication and doing things like diet and exercise, it is also important to come up with ways to um, uh, react to this anxiety. So it's not just, oh, I have anxiety and it's trying to go away, uh, because you're always going to have anxiety. So it, it's, it's, I have anxiety, but how am I going to react to this anxiety? How am I going to process this? That way I have a good outcome. And that's important. It's very important. And it's going to be very, very important if you have children. So, uh, like for me, just give you guys an example. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, I grew up in a self-employed environment. I am self-employed. Um, it, it's very sink or swim. Okay. It, it's, you know, people will often say to me, Aaron, you're so lucky, man. You can, you can take off whenever you want, man. Like, yeah, I can, but I can't because if I don't go to work, I don't eat and my family doesn't eat. So I don't really have a choice. I have to go to work. So I have to tell me to go. It's not some guy, Hey, you gotta be in here. No, I gotta tell myself. My boss is a so, that being said, um, when you live and you grow up in this type of environment, my grandfather was self-employed, uh, my aunts have been self-employed at different times, uh, there is an importance and you want to stress to your children that, hey, you need to go to work, you can't afford to get sick, you can't afford to do this, you need to go to work, you have a job to do, you need to do it. Um, and so that creates a lot of anxiety, especially in a growing mind, you know? So when I was, I mean, I was going to work with my dad early. I mean, in by middle school, summers were spent going to work with dad. 
not that I didn't enjoy it, because I did. My dad's like my best friend. He's an awesome, he's an awesome guy. Um, maybe you guys will meet him someday. I don't know. But that being said, uh, it's a lot. Of, it's really tough on a child because even when you're 20, 21, you're still a child. I mean, by law, you're not, but. You're really, you're, your prefrontal cortex, which is the, the forward thinking part of your brain is not yet developed. So you're still developing a brain and then you have all this anxiety and this, uh, uh, this you know, must have or must survive situation. It creates a lot of tenseness and a lot of stress. And so like my dad didn't think that he was stressing me out. I remember telling him, yeah, I think I'm kind of stressed out. And I remember him saying, well, what do you have to be stressed about? What do you mean? You're telling me I'm going to fail <laughs> all the time. What do you mean? I, I definitely have things to be stressed about. This is a freak out situation. You're telling me that my life could be poo if I don't do this one small thing. That's a big thing. And then you get it over and over and over and it's completely out of love. You know what I mean? My dad hasn't never done anything that hasn't been out of love. That's why I tell everybody, yeah, I got spankings as a child. I got my ass kicked when I was a little bit older. And I just served every one of them. I was being a little butthead. And I deserved every one. My dad has never done anything outside of love for me, even kicking my butt, okay? So, that being said, um, I don't want these things for my uh, for my son, but I, yeah, I'm at a catch-22. I need to instill that there's some severity to the future but I need to help him process this. So how I think I'm gonna do it as of now, it can change as the time gets older and he gets older. I'm gonna come up with healthy ways to process stress. So, you know what I mean? If you're stressed about school, well, uh, you know, what was the old saying? Uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of a cure. That's kind of be the route that I'm gonna go to. All right, well, hey, you know, if you're stressed out, let's study, come to dad, we'll study together. We'll
giving and how uh, helpful they are to one another. So um, join that page. We would love to have you. As long as you're a positive person and you're, and you're more focused on the solution as opposed to the problem. That's where a lot of pages go wrong and we don't want that there. So uh, if you want to be part of the solution, you want to get to the end of your journey with uh, some people pushing you and helping you and supporting you, join the Aaron's Anxiety Family page. That's what it's called, Aaron's Anxiety Family. All right, friends. Well, I'm going to get back to work. So until next time, uh, I, you guys rock. <laughs> okay? So I'm Aaron. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.